Welcome to Upgrade. I'm your host, Frank the Tank, and today we're going to bring you a ring light. So I want to improve my studio here and I need some more lighting because I've been getting cheesy little lights here and there. But I want to get something behind the camera uh, that reflects very well my background and myself and it be more approachable, easy to ask questions and make it more, have more fluff to the show. So let's open it up. Let's open the box, all right? So this is on Amazon. It was like around 50 bucks plus tax and shipping. It's not bad. This is the 13 inches. They have 14, they have 18, and they have other accessories, but this is just a ring light. So we're gonna open it up. I'm gonna unbox it, see what you guys think about it. Ah. Nothing in the box, empty. You get this nice little case. This is beautiful. It's a little case with it. I like it. So, Flashpoint. Basically, Flashpoint means it, it, it used to be a video game called Flashpoint, but that's what the company's called, I guess. So, it's not bad. Let's take it out. Let's open it up. Um, feels very squishy around it. Um, like foam all over it. And we got a zipper. Here's the, you get instruction manual, of course. How to set up all these rings? They have these filters they sell additional filters you could buy and instructions how to use this so first of all we're gonna unbox it here and see how it goes the power cord of course here is another cover on top of it you move remove this and then you pull this one out this is like the main part of it and of course here's the lighting system it's uh, pretty neat. It has this little base in the center so you can actually put the camera there and the lights can go all around the camera, which is not bad. Everything's LED lights all around the system. Um, nothing else is in here. It's all cushion. So if you ever want to travel and take this with you, this is perfect. This is a traveling case. Of course, you get your, your mount and then you get your rack on top of it and um, you're set, man. This is pretty awesome. You get your tripod and you set this up pretty much anywhere and I, I like this so let's see let's see how it looks behind the camera I, I don't have any of the filters this is just gonna be without any filters any soft softener so we're just gonna go pretty much without anything and see how bright it is um, I'm not gonna turn off the lights I'm just gonna turn off these two lights here and just see what the middle one actually brings so let's see what happens this is the highest it can go. Actually, I'm gonna remove the my glasses and see what you guys think. Now, in reality, it bothers me, the light, so I gotta get that softener because I'm gonna be squinting all day. So it's one of those things you gotta make sure you either wear the glasses and maybe move them down to a certain angle and see if it could go like that. But this is the highest, at the highest peak of the, of the ring light. Uh, the ring light looks pretty awesome, but I just need to soften it up so it could it could just with my eyes because pretty much I'll be kind of squinting the whole throughout the whole video and the the, the system itself is not that expensive uh, I already had a stand I had everything already ready for the system to go and now with the ring light it looks I, I'm pretty sure the quality of the video is gonna be a little better than before so this is I'm gonna use uh, uh, starting from maybe next week when I get the softener all around the system. I'm gonna start using this, but tell me what you guys think about the ring light. It was not that expensive. I'm gonna little talk a little bit more about it, and if you want more information, I'm gonna put it in the description. Exactly how many lumiums it has, uh, what's the cost, and how large it is, and, and what's compatible with it. It has different settings on it. You can actually adjust it where you can actually dim it down. Right now it's at its highest. I'm gonna go to a lower level and let me see what you guys think about it. This is a level two. I don't know if it's better quality, but you guys let me know what you guys think about it. I lower it down just a little bit. And I guess there's no actually notches. You can't find now. You actually have to adjust. It's like a dimmer pretty much. So you gotta make sure you find your right level. Now this is pretty much perfect. I love the lighting right there. I could actually, I don't have to squint too much. It's perfectly fine for me. I could, I could. It's not that much, I had to actually dim it down. So this, just adjusting it and playing around with it, uh, it actually helps me out, I actually concentrate. I can actually see in the background, I can see the camera. Uh, um, I'm not concentrating on the light itself, I could be concentrating on something else. 
which is perfect. This is the kind of dimming down that you want to mess, mess around with it and find your, your own lighting settings because everybody's different. Of course, now, if it looks different in the background, it's because I dim it down. So we're going to go down to the last part of it without turning it off. Now, I can live with this. This is perfect. I can see everything pretty much on the background. The LED lights are pretty much very low to the last level right before you turn it on that's where it's at right now it's at the lowest that it can go um it's I, i'm pretty sure not a lot of reflection is going to come out of it because i can see straight through the whole system right now as it is so this is the last part of it the last little notch right before i turned it off so let me know i'm gonna bring that thing uh, again so i could talk a little bit what i don't like about it and what i do like about it so this is the flash point it's it's around 13 inches wide the thing I don't like about it is that it didn't give you a little notch for the camera or any attachments. You got to buy that separate. If they would have thrown it in there, it would have been fine. Also, filters. They didn't put any of the filters. Not only that, they, it's exposed. All these things are exposed. There's no cover around it. It's pretty much open for the elements, for water or other substance. So that's the thing I don't like about it. Um, it's It looks very well made. Uh, but the only thing, like I said, my con uh, dislikes about it is that it doesn't have a cover. I wish it had some sort of cover so you don't have to be touching the LED lights itself. Or maybe dust particles getting in there. So maybe that's why I'm going to invest maybe be buying a cover for this because it, it's you want to keep your investments. You want to make sure it lasts long. Because it was not very expensive to buy this one. It was around $50, like I said. But... I like things to last long. I don't want to replace them throughout the time. So here I'm going to turn it on. There's a little knob right behind it in this corner here. And of course it has all these vents for the heat to uh, evaporate from there. And uh, and it's a 15 volt uh, connection of course. It comes with the power itself. Uh, it comes with this little attachment so you can actually put it on any stand. on a, Not a regular tripod. You actually have to buy a different tripod just for this part of it. It cannot be a camera tripod like I said. It has an attachment so you could actually have the same tripod attach and then attach the camera on top of it so it has a great attachment right here on the in the center piece so you can put the camera in between my camera is a canon 80d uh eos and it fits perfectly fine in here along with the mic there was no extraction of it there there's nothing in front of it it was pretty much a, a well built system so if you put the camera in between here it gives it a little notch up and the camera is like pretty much this wide it's gonna fit perfectly fine so uh, I do have a, 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 a mic on top of it on top of the camera so I didn't have an issue whatsoever I thought the camera was actually gonna be um, hitting this top of it but no it didn't have no, no problems whatsoever now the thing I like about this is that it has the dimmer but the dimmer does not have any notches like levels, different levels, one through 10 or anything like that. I've seen that in other ones. And there's no, there's a clicking one on every single one. Here, there is no clicking one. It's pretty power on, power off, and then you dim it down. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna turn it on right in front of your eyes. And I'm gonna go to the highest settings. And this is pretty much the highest it can go right now. I'm in the highest right now. And now, I'm gonna dim it down. Now I'm gonna turn it around. And I'm gonna put it in front of me and I'm actually gonna dim it without looking at it I'm gonna look straight and let it reflect through my eyes and my glasses so see let me know what you guys think and this is kind of like pretty bright <laughs> I can't really see where I'm looking at so I'm actually gonna dim it down but I can live with something like this this is pretty much I can see it and it's very simple to look at it and even this is better but this is I, I could actually find my settings this will probably be something I will use, you know, it's because it, it does um, demonstrate a lot of the lighting around the reflecting uh, on the background. And it close, it's going to reflect off my glasses too. So that's one thing I don't like about it. But you got to find your own way, like I say, find your own dim settings on this one. So this is pretty much it. It's Flashpoint. I like it. Welcome to my family, I'm going to say. If you like what you see, please subscribe to Upgrade. I'm your host, Frank the Tank. Out. Oh.